We're in the all-new 2022 Infiniti QX60 redesign. Infiniti's needed this vehicle out for the past couple of years. It's finally here. They got rid of the CVT. We still have the V6. There's so much to talk about with this new vehicle. So let's get into it. <laughs> Today we're doing more of a family review. We just dropped off the kids from school and we have some bad news. We got rear-ended and it was a hit and run. And I pulled to the side, the Volkswagen, yes, blame it on the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen kept going. And then I dropped the kids off because it was really right next to the school. So I dropped the kids off, pulled into a parking lot, checked out the damage, and there was none. There was no damage. No. And this vehicle has just proven itself to be safe. Yeah, like we, we had the braking warning going off because yes. the van in front of us Stop was also, the yeah, van. they were also going to our school, our kids' school, and the whole time we were driving behind them, they, we were, could, they were on their phone. They were looking down the whole oh. time. So I stopped in time, and then the car behind me did not uh, because the car in front of me. So maybe that's a lesson for, one, have a, a safe vehicle, but two, don't text and drive Please because don't. it starts a domino effect and you can really cause some damage. Even if yourself is fine, you're still affecting the people around you. So yeah, the kids, the, the two younger ones are with us and they've been quiet the whole time until we just started this review. So we're actually on the way to the review area where I do my B-roll. We can talk about exterior design because exterior design in this vehicle, Infinity for the most part nailed it. And Infinity overall with their- I'm sharing the water. A perk of this car is easy reach. Easy reach. <laughs> Give her the water, she didn't even sip it. <laughs> you gave it back to her after she threw a fit and she's she just wanted the, she control. Just wanted the control yes you, it's easy to get to that second row yeah, for you for sure it's nice it's a big perk definitely a mom's car or a dad's car <laughs> yeah and Your that's car. what this vehicle is really uh marketed towards i think they had kate hudson marketing this vehicle you know goldie hahn's daughter oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah how to lose a guy in 10 days what that's not oh i'm thinking 10 things i hate about you oh that's no I, okay anyways so back to the exterior design Overall, it looks really, really good. They just overdid the fake exhaust tips in the back. I mean, the side profile of this is excellent. I like the two-tone paint color and this autograph edition yeah. that we're in. It's an all new trim level, it's top of the line. I mean, we got massaging seats in yeah, here. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you really enjoy it. To me, yeah. I can live without it. Um, we have a digital rear view mirror, which is probably the best quality digital rear view, mirror, rear view mirror I've ever seen in a vehicle, but it is pretty much necessary, I think, if you're going to have the third row up with passengers in them such as us because you don't have a lot of space or a lot of visibility between uh, the two headrests and the very back row so it does come in handy there moving into the powertrain i mean we have 295 horsepower on tap this three and a half liter v6 270 pound feet of torque gone as a cvt with a nine speed automatic and this thing is luxury smooth as butter this is what i'm talking about when i'm in a luxury vehicle you don't feel the shifts but you hear you hear the shifts and that's what you want we don't want that droney cvt-ness it is an a plus transmission for a luxury vehicle and i know it's the same in theory it's the same transmission in the pathfinder uh, for nissan which this vehicle shares a lot with mind you but this vehicle just the, Wow, the moon. Yeah, you can see the moon. And that's one of the great things about this top of the line is we have this moon, moon roof, roof, literally. Yes. I didn't know why they called it moon roof, but yeah, it's because our daughter's looking up at the moon and the moon's still out at this time of the day in the morning. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, um, the, 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 the CVT transmission the gone. Yeah, the Pathfinder transmission has a nine speed auto as well, but I don't remember it being this buttery smooth. This is amazing. And the powertrain in here is right at home. No, the fuel efficiency is not ideal. It's like tw I'm 21 and a half right now, average I'm, I'm seeing. So oh. it's not gonna blow anyone's minds, but I mean, it's, in, in the van we get like 16, 17. Right. But that's we, a much older I mean, car. I kept us safe in and, a yeah, fender bender. So. Right, right, right. You don't, you're not thinking about fuel called. con. It was a fender bender. Oh, okay. It's probably for that Jetta. Probably for the Jetta. Jeez, Boo. hit and run. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> for the hit and run, not the Jetta itself. No, the the, the driver in the Jetta, yeah, not the necessarily the Jetta right. itself. It's just the Jetta gets the rap because that lady, I don't know who she is. Yeah. Anyways, um, braking in here is really good. It saved us earlier, essentially, from running into right. that 
band that came to an abrupt stop since they were texting. Um, it's really smooth and predictable, the brake feel. Like everything in here is just a really smooth experience from the engine transmission to the braking feel to the ride quality. The ride quality is not harsh at all. It's got a nice long wheelbase. It's very comfy. Overall, just a really excellent driving, handling, and safe luxury vehicle for a family. Is it your, you who are well, turning it for me? Yeah, no, I take this really conservatively in the turns because I don't want the kids sliding around in their seats We don't want stuff. them barfing. Yeah, I don't want them getting car sick either. So yeah, it, it can handle better than what I'm going to test it for when I have this vehicle because I always have the kids. It's a three row luxury crossover. There aren't that many in the QX60. Uh, is going to be, again, challenging the Acura MDX for uh, the Crown until maybe the Lexus TX comes out. Um, but until then, this thing is really, really good. So let's talk about the interior now a little bit more. So um, we got this large screen here. We do have wireless CarPlay, mm -hmm. which would be great for you. Yeah. You're charging your, your yes, uh, phone down here. Yes, and it actually here. works. I don't know if anyone noticed last time it didn't work. The yeah, last this time charger was... works really well with my phone too. Yeah, so, so that's awesome. It's that's great. Nice. Uh, you do have wired Android Auto, I believe, which is fine with me because even though the, the wireless charger in here works, I mm -hmm. prefer the wireless connection. My phone doesn't get as hot, charges oh. faster, etc. So we have a couple of USBs up here. We have two USBs in the second row and two USBs for the passengers in the third row. So we have six USBs yeah. in here. You have auxiliary power. That's nice. Um, in other places as well. So the connectivity for families is absolutely here, especially in this autograph edition with, you know, mm -hmm all of the bells and whistles. The trim in here is really, really nice. I like this wood on the dash and the doors. Yes, it's gorgeous. I love the stitching and yeah, the quilts. This, the quilted stitching yeah. on the dash and the seats is really, really nice. It does feel very luxurious in here. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing I feel, there are two things. I feel like this vehicle couldn't do better with the luxuriousness. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that center console separating the bucket seats oh, back there. Mm -hmm. It's just a little flimsy. It almost seems like you should be able to take it out, but I haven't found a way to take it out yet. So mm -hmm. just, it just doesn't seem that high quality. And then the doors. So the door design and the feel is excellent and they do mm -hmm. a great job insulating you from the noise and soft touch everywhere. The issue with the door is that it doesn't have like nice steps. So you know, when you close the door, it'll like stop right at certain points it'll have like you know like different settings essentially you know what i'm talking about so it doesn't close on you is that so what it doesn't mean? close right. these doors don't really stop they just close on you they, that's true when it comes to safety with the kids that could be an issue yeah so yeah. it's unfortunate that these doors unless they're like all the way open they don't like to stay open they're very heavy uh, whatever is in the door mechanism that that has different steps of closing right. it's not in this vehicle like it just feels like it it just closes unless it's all the way open right. but that's a that's a minor gripe but right. it would have been nice since it's a luxury vehicle to have like just the best feeling doors and the door closing and opening the, the door slams they sound okay that's just minor gripes that right. I'm, I'm i'm really comparing this car to other other luxury vehicles if right. this was not a luxury vehicle i wouldn't be complaining about those right right, right. exactly so, different standards yeah yeah different standards okay. okay um we have large screen here talked about that and its functionality we have this uh an additional large screen behind the steering wheel it's nothing new because we see it on a lot of uh, other Nissan products um, and Infiniti products, but this might be actually, I, I mean, I remember seeing this screen even on this, the new Z, for example. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. The only thing that's different is just like a little Infiniti logo inside of the tachometer here <laughs> to let you know you're an Infiniti, not a Nissan, I guess. But uh, it, I have no issues with this digital, fully digital MID behind the steering wheel. Steering wheel uh, is okay. I feel like it's super smooth around the edges. These buttons on the inside, they don't necessarily feel the most premium, but they're extremely functional, easy to get to the volume, the presets, as well as Nissan slash Infiniti safety controls right here, the, the radar cruise control, etc. cetera. Uh, I have steering assist, which only is activated uh, with radar cruise control when that's on. I also have a head up display in here, which Nissan and Infiniti's new head up displays are A plus. They're some of the best in the game and it's it's super bright super crisp i don't have any double vision i uh, i am in love with this head-up display so it's definitely worth it if you guys are thinking about it uh, we also have heated steering wheel heated and ventilated seats when you oh, talk yeah. about climate control it's all kind of like touch capacitive here so it's take some getting used to for sure i just keep it on auto the auto mode does overall a really good job uh the ventilated seats 
work pretty well. So I mentioned this is all pretty much touch capacitive. Luckily we do have a couple rotary knobs for climate control um, and one for volume. If you want to tune, we don't have a tuning knob, which would have been nice. Instead we have touch capacitive buttons here. So it's not the most functional. It gets the job done, but it's, mm -hmm. it's a little cumbersome, I would say when you're trying to flip through different Sirius XM channels. But at least it's like a designated spot so you don't have to scroll and find yeah. your tuning. You know what I mean? Sure. At least that's nice. As a mom, yeah. like I just put my, you know, right. I just can do it without looking really. Right, right, right. So there's like the Garth Brooks. So even though the, the, um, the radio isn't up right now, it will tell you even at the top or on the side here what radio station you're going, going to. Shifter is pretty minimal. I wouldn't say it's it's luxury looking or feeling, but it's functional. Um, and we also have this rotary dial here, which is kind of like a carryover relic. So if you don't want to use the touchscreen, like I'm zooming in and zooming out here on the map, and yeah, it's all done with a radial dial, and you can use that instead of the touchscreen. But the touchscreen is perfectly within reach for me. So right. and I can even rest my hand here on this nice like leather material and feels great like yeah. it's a super functional touch super screen nice. um the seats are comfortable mm -hmm. well uh, it's semi-inline leather look at them <laughs> this is <laughs> what's up guys <laughs> you know even though we have massaging seats in here which is a little mm -hmm. button over here on the side of the seat they're not the strongest massaging seat like no but how comfortable do you need to be when driving i you mean know, you don't want to get that relaxed <laughs> Well, to me, it's like when I, I like deep tissue massages. So when sure. I feel this, this is doing nothing kitten for me. Paws. You like more of the kitten paw <laughs> massage, the, the Swedish massage, I think they're called. <laughs> it's not for me, so I can live without it. But I know you appreciate those massaging seats a little bit more. Yeah, nice. um, they are semi-aniline leather. Um, unfortunately, I don't have like a thigh extension, so I would have preferred a thigh extension oh, in here over massaging seats. And I feel like that would have been way cheaper to implement, but whatever. On the vehicle, we've mentioned it's very smooth, but it's also very quiet. I think I'm gonna pull in here. No one's parked around here. We're going to uh, get some B-roll of the good old QX60. Well, good good new. It's, a, it's an old nameplate, but new, new model. Anyways, gotta, <laughs> gotta get some B-roll. There's a camera button by the rotary dial that allows you to pull up your 360 camera, which is pretty, pretty handy during parking situations so even though it's a big long vehicle it doesn't matter necessarily because you can see so well with the 360 camera system and we're off back onto the the docile streets we're out of traffic thank god for now <laughs> anyways you can just enjoy the the scenery in the qx60 i want to talk about the second row we have sun shades back there yeah. we have heated outboard seats like i said you have the usbs in the second row uh, there's a little jump seat button to fold the seat forward to get people into the third row. Um, it's kind of useless in our situation because we have child seats in that second seat. So we, oh, yeah. you know, we just keep the seats where they're at and the kids go through that pass through between the two captain's chairs. Which is nice. It's fine. Yeah, it works. Works. The kids are small and flexible. Yeah. <laughs> seat quality in that second row, semi-aniline semi leather as well. They're super comfy, lots of leg room. You also have a uh, tri-zone climate control for that uh, second row. And the, and the very back, I don't remember the vent situation. I know there's chargers back there. I haven't spent a lot of time. It almost looks like there's enough space for three seats, but there are really only two seats there's back there. Two. So yeah, that's a it, bummer. there's like a, a weird little phone holder area in between those two seats. But yeah, it's only a six seater when you go for the captain's chairs, which man, <laughs> just barely gets the job done for us right. with a, as a family of six. Um, and then behind that third row, you have uh, a decent amount of cargo space. I'll put exactly what it is, but one of the surprises for me is that you can lift up the floor and you have like some hidden hidden storage. Oh, that's nice. And it's quite a bit, so you can easily put in. Can you fit a stroller? I there? I highly doubt it. Okay, Unless so you get one of those ti moms. those tiny like minimalist cheapo strollers. Right, them yeah. bad strollers. If, if all the seats are full continuously, this is probably not the right vehicle for you. You might need something bigger. Right. And there's just not a lot of three row luxury crossovers on the market that are bigger than this. I think I'm just rambling at this point, so we should probably finish up our, our thoughts on uh, the, the redesign QX60. What, what are your thoughts well, on it? Well, I mean, I love the safety-ness of it. Like Kept that was 1,000% amazing. Right. 
Um, the kids are super comfortable. I can easily reach them. Yeah. Which is really nice. You can't fit a stroller, but we're beyond stroller age yeah. anyway. Well, you could fit a stroller if you had one of the seats down back there, okay. right? I mean, what are the occasions that someone would need a stroller and still have four kids? That, like, exactly. You know, like, right, right, right. Um, yeah, I love the massage the chairs. Seat, yeah, That's nice. it is nice. I mean, it's a big step up from my car from the van. Hey, we have driver. He- we have heated seats in the van. We have heated seats in the van. Um, <laughs> In Florida. Don't forget. Don't don't forget. Yeah, in Florida, <laughs> they, 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 we never use them. No, they were nice in Nebraska. But yeah. you also said like the massaging seats feel like a spa experience. Yes, for you. it's very much like if you're gonna get your nails or toes done. It's like a very similar experience. It's very nice. That's great. Um. Yeah, I and love you, the you, quilted pattern. Yeah. I love that. It's a very. I told Kirk earlier. It's yeah. very Instagrammable. Like yes. you can like Instagram here and have like great lighting. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. the moon roof was really nice. The girls loved it. The um, accessibility to like the USB charges and stuff, like the bigger girls were going crazy over it. They were really they happy. It. They're like, is there Wi-Fi in here? Which there probably is, but not to the extent that they would probably want or need. Need it, right. Yeah. But it's nice to have it. Yeah. Um, the kids, was it easy to put the kids' um, car seats in? Was that an easy thing? Yeah, yeah, the, the hooks difficult. the hooks were super easy okay. for GGC. Okay, so that's like a big deal for moms and dads, yeah. you know? The, the so ho- that's nice. Hooks were an A to that's get good. the seats connected to. some are not. I remember like struggling with like a few Lexuses that you've had. Yeah, there's you. always a few out there that that don't make it easy for kids. Like no. they get too cute with it to try to hide them because we all know hooks, they're not like pretty, right? They're right. just like metal bars, but we want the kids to be safe and we want right. to mm-hmm. not be frustrated in dealing with the child <laughs> seats. The seats in, yeah. so, so I think I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> finish this up by, did someone just honk? No, I think it was the girls game. Oh, it's the girls game. Yeah, that honk. I was gonna finish up by uh, giving you guys the full beans here. Pedals down. Yeah, it's too fast. <laughs> Maggie said, it's but so smooth. Like, no, it's not going to be like uh, super fast. The, the V8 on the QX80 feels way more powerful, and it is. But this thing is very, very smooth, surprisingly smooth in its operation. So, and Fendi, you've done what you needed to. You've included all the technology, the features, the comfort, the safety, uh, with good looks overall. And I think yeah. parents who are shopping for a three-row luxury vehicle would be very, very happy yes. with this. I can't, mm-hmm. can't really fault it for anything right. majorly. <laughs> so anyways, uh, signing out from the all new Infiniti QX60 that saved our butts this morning with yeah. no damage. Thank you for that hitch receiver. And by the way, it can tow 6,000 pounds. I think I forgot to mention oh that, word. which is an increase over the outgoing model by quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. so that's how it's, it's all good. It's all rainbows and unicorns with this vehicle right now. So, end it there. Thanks, Cass, for yeah, thanks sharing Kevin. your valuable. Of course. Yeah, we never call each other by our first name, so <laughs> nope. it's weird. Anyway, uh, signing out. Have a good day, guys. Thank Peace you. out.